Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And here we are at Battery Park on a beautiful summer's day. And if you tuned in to find out about the perfect leader, then of course you know as well as I do, there is no such thing as the perfect leader. But if you want to be a good leader, then I have some information for you. And let's remember that good is really good. And quite frankly, I've only known a handful of really good leaders in my entire life. So a good leader, by definition, is about change. Because change in our environment, change in our thinking is happening all the time. The difference with a good leader is a good leader is choosing to direct some of that change instead of having it happen to them. So when I think of change, I think of a great philosopher, a deep thinker, a psychiatrist and writer from the mid 20th century whose name is Viktor Frankl. And Viktor Frankl wrote an iconic book called Man's Search for Meaning. And what Viktor Frankl discovered as he was going through the Nazi concentration camps in World War II was this, that between stimuli and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose. And in that choice lies our growth and freedom. Let me say that again. This is his quote because it's really important. Between stimuli and response is a space. In that space is our power to choose, and in that choice lies our growth and freedom. So Viktor Frankl was talking about two concepts that didn't even exist yet that we knew of. Two words that didn't even exist yet that we know of. One is neuroplasticity which was discovered 50 years later by scientists. And that's the idea, the concept, and the scientific fact that our brain can change and does change. And it's almost in a constant dynamic of change. The question is, is it simply changing by the environment and the people around us, which it does? Or do we direct that change with our own intentionality. And that, my friends, is known as mindfulness. Another concept that was not really articulated back when Viktor Frankl was writing, but in fact, he described it in that quote. And mindfulness, quite simply, is taking that which is outside of our conscious thinking and bringing it into conscious thought. And that's how we direct and drive change. So, and we have to remember that we as a leader are affecting the behavior and thinking of everyone in our universe. So the way we think and the way we change will affect everyone, will change the organization, and will, and will change the outcomes. So looking at Frankel's thinking, that's just a ship, folks, leaving the harbor to go to Statue of Liberty. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about liberty for ourselves, because in that choice lies our growth and freedom. So looking at Frankel's work, I developed a method for change called the Adam Method. Adam is for awareness, Declaration, Alternative, and Measurement. That's what ADAM stands for. So awareness. Awareness as to what is the thinking and or behavior that we want to change or what is the new behavior we want to create. So for example, let's say I'm somebody who constantly interrupts people in the middle of their speaking. And if that's brought to my attention and I'm listening, I want to change that. Let's say 
I automatically, when I have free time, I automatically turn on the TV. And instead, I want to start reading for 30 minutes a day. Half hour a day, I want to start reading. Let's say I reach for soda pop every time I'm thirsty. And I want to change that to reaching for seltzer. There are a number of things that we might want to change, but certainly our thinking and behavior as a leader is critical. And what changes we want to make there can be based on feedback that we solicit and get. And I have many episodes on feedback that you can watch. So first is awareness. I want to change this. I want to refrain from interrupting people in the middle of their speech. Instead of turning on the television, I want to read for 30 minutes a day, or I will read for 30 minutes a day. So awareness of the behavior, declaration, which I just stated, of what I am going to do or do differently. And I would strongly suggest that you write down that declaration. And then what is the alternative behavior? Because I have found in people's behavior, it's very useful to have an alternative. So in the interrupting someone in the middle of their speech, refrain actually becomes an action. I will refrain from interrupting them. So refrain becomes an action. Instead of turning on the TV, I will read for 30 minutes. So you have an alternative action. So whatever you want to create as a new behavior, whatever you want to change, you want an alternative reaction. And then very importantly, you have to measure your results. So you can measure your results by keeping a daily log. Did I read for 30 minutes today? No, I read for 20 minutes. Okay, you're getting there. Oh, I read for 30 minutes Monday and Tuesday, but not Wednesday. You're getting there, but you want to track it. Am I interrupting people in the middle of speaking? I may be able to determine that, but since it's an other than conscious behavior, I might want to ask trusted others to give me feedback on that. So again, the most important thing we do as a good leader is we're constantly evolving and changing. And we're going to change anyways. Our brain is going to change anyways. The question is, is it are we going to change randomly by the people and environment around us? Or is some of that change going to be intentional and directed by us? And if we do, we want to do it or you can do it through this Adam methodology. Aware of the change you want to make, declare it in a written statement, have an alternative action, and measure your results. And that will give you a very tangible way of creating change intentionally to be a good leader. Thank you. I just want to say thank you for watching my video. If you feel you got something out of it, do me a favor. Comment, like it, share it, and most importantly, subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's lots more there and lots more coming your way. And I hope it will give you something that will make your life better. Thanks a lot.